Okay, if you've been in Windows 10 for a while now, you're used to seeing Notification uh, Center uh, being in a panel on the right-hand side where you get your emails up here or maybe uh, announcements from organizations or news. And down here you have the uh, Settings panel. And then at times you'll see notifications actually pop in, like an email that comes in, a Cortana warning of bad weather or whatever here on the right side. A lot of people don't know that Notification Center actually started with Windows Phone. So that's what we're going to take a look at is the latest version in Windows Phone 10. So if we look at Windows Phone 10, we drop, pull down and expose the uh, center. You'll see that the notices are on the bottom down here and the uh, settings are uh, up top up here. And you, at first you only see the five settings that are up here. But if you click on this expand uh, link here on the far right, you'll see that you get your entire notification center set up. Now, if you want to activate one of these, for example, Bluetooth, you tap it and it turns on and off that particular setting. If you tap and hold, you'll actually jump to that setting. Okay, it's taking a second here, but there you actually go there instead of uh, just turning it on and off. And that's handy for things like uh, finding out Wi-Fi access or things like that. Well, let's do a different one. Let's do a battery saver. So I press on that and I jump right to it. It's way easier than finding it here in the settings. Now most of those are set by Microsoft, but the first five that show up at the bottom are ones that you can configure. So if we go to the settings and notification center, let's go to all settings, and we'll go to notification, uh, oh yeah, it's uh, up there at the top under system, and notifications and actions, and here's where you can configure. For example, there's those five. Now I changed the fourth one from uh, what they had set, which is the rotation lock, and I changed it to quiet hours, so I can turn that on and off. But you just scroll up and down from the settings that are available to choose which one you want to have in that location. Now, while you're there, you can. there's other configurations as well to show when your phone's locked or show certain things on the lock screen, uh, things like that, uh, show the alarms and all that. So you can just configure this the way you like it best on your screen. You can also configure individual applications, and I'll get to that here near the end. Uh, but basically, uh, we're going to talk about now the bottom part where you get these uh, notifications in. Now, if you scroll down and you'll see mail, news, weather, whatever, it shows up down there. And if you don't want to read them, you can just swipe quickly to the right and they'll go away. Uh, that simple. Now, you can sit there and scroll through these and see uh, if you want to read the individual one or not. But you can also tap on the title of it, like this one's money. If I tap on that, the money application opens, and up it comes. So, what then? Well, it's gone. All the notifications for money are gone from this list. So if I go to news here, and I tap on it, same thing happens. News opens up, I go back, look here, and it's gone as well. And by the way, you can clear this. There's a clear all on the upper left-hand corner. And you can clear all your notes. If you go scroll through with this, don't find anything you really want to read and everything instead of deleting them all. You can just hit the clear all at the top and blank your all your notifications. So like I talked about earlier, you can actually configure it, each application. Here I'm in Outlook. And if I click down here and I go to settings, and you'll see here that there's a notification section. And it came with this unchecked. It doesn't show notification or play a sound. So if you want that stuff, you need to turn them on and then just back out of it and it'll be uh, that way and you'll get those notifications on your screens. For example, if I back out here and I'm going to go ahead and send an email and all of a sudden up top you'll see the notification banner uh, come up and there it is. Now if you catch it in time and tap on it, you'll go to that actual message. If not, you just go to your notification center, but there's your message that uh, you wanted to see. So don't forget, uh, after you get it going and everything, go into each application and set up your settings for that application, and you'll see that notification is a very handy uh, feature to have. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.